how'd that go? How'd I go? I'm saying it wrong. I mixed up Heavy D with Rock Him. I was saying that. Dan, 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 rock Him. I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. I messed that all up. Hi, hello, what's up, and what's happening? This is Lyrics and Lies with your boy Money Green. With your man Money Green. Money Green is up in here. Up in here. Up in here. And I'm chilling with. Shades on the mic. Who yeah. you trying to do? The overweight lovers in the house? I was trying to do Eric B and Rock Him. I ain't no joke. And oh, I used to love They have the more. same part from the James Brown or JBs. Yeah. And when I started doing it, it took me to Heavy D. Nevertheless, that was just a beat that I messed up. But speaking of beats, you wanted to talk about a Netflix movie. When the Shades Netflix reviews. Actually, this movie was not a Shades, it was a Money Green. I brought this one up? Yes, she did. You I thought it was told you. Me to look I at. thought you told, no. Nah, not this time. The only one I told you to look at was the privilege, the black and privilege. Mm -hmm. You came up with the beat. I thought that was you, my bad. Not this time, not this time. This All right. a Money Green original, because he doesn't do Netflix that much, but this was his idea this time. Well, somebody came to me and said, the beat is good. The beat is good. Watch the beat. I thought it was Shades, but it evidently was somebody else. So whoever you are out there, I'll give you credit, but I can't remember who you are. <laughs> Nevertheless, the beat with Anthony Anderson. Who else is in there? You have anybody else? A bunch of people who don't have big names in Hollywood, but they are good or great actors. The only other big name is Dave East, one of the best rappers out. And He's the, definitely top 10 rappers, yeah. Dave East. And the lady from off of um, The Orange is the New Black. The, oh, mother. that's right. What's her name? The crazy one off Orange is the New Black. I didn't know that was her. That was her. She looked familiar. I said, she looks familiar. Even though I didn't watch Orange is the New Black, I, I remember how either. she looked. <laughs> I didn't so, watch that So the crazy black girl on Orange is the New Black, she, is in this movie called Beat with Anthony Anderson and Dave East. Great movie, really great movie. It's about PTSD in the hood with our young people. And it's also about breaking down walls or barriers that people put up to help them get past the PTSD. And often people in, in the hood that grow up in the hood have PTSD and people may think that's just about people who serve in the Iraq war or uh, wh whatever war it is. People think that's where post-traumatic stress syndrome comes from or whatever they call post-traumatic stress disorder comes from. But it's any type of traumatic incident. And in the hood there are a lot from police brutality to witnessing people being assaulted to witnessing people being murdered or just walking up on dead bodies. Just like in Boys in the Hood. Y'all wanna see a dead body? Those things weigh on your mind. If you take them in, you go look at the dead body, you see something happen to somebody or something happens to you or a family member. So the high schooler in this story suffers that because somebody in his neighborhood ends up being uh, killed. And it takes, well see, there we go with shades and damn spoiler alerts. That's why I try to say hood I to keep it broad. Family member. I kept the hood so it could be broad so people Still wouldn't know. Say family member. Oh my goodness. That's all I wanted Spo to say. See, uh, now we gotta tell the editor to put spoiler alert on the, on the video. <laughs> We don't like spoiler alerts because then people ain't going to want to listen. It's bad enough they don't want to listen to us now. But, uh... <laughs> so, Anthony Anderson, he does his thing in here. He's not silly. He's playing a dramatic role. And he does a great job when he gets into drama. You know what I'm saying? And I really appreciate his acting because I definitely... He's one of the people that I didn't like when he first came out. Mm. And I believe I first saw him in Barbershop. Mm -hmm. The Barbershop 102, yeah. I think. The first one. The first one. Him and uh, Michael Ealy. But I wasn't, you know, I was like, eh, he's the guy gets on my nerves. He needed the King's Ransom or something like that. I was like, eh. But 
he started getting these other roles and I really started seeing him for more than just a silly person or a silly chubby guy who thinks he's supposed to be funny when he's not. And then he actually started being funny to me. And then he started being a decent actor to a good actor to a great actor in my eyes. I said, okay, so now he's doing this thing, Law and Order, Blackish. I didn't like him in Law and Order, but Blackish, I like him in. He's great in Blackish. And then in this one, he brings that drama out. Mm -hmm. And I, I enjoyed what he brought to the table. I enjoyed the woman that he was married to. I enjoyed her spunk and her set. Well, I love sassy women like that. And um, anybody who listens to this show over time, they know what kind of woman I like. They know yeah. how money green gets down. They know. But the principal in this movie, that's a fine little thing right there. When thing comes down, thing thing take her to the red roof end, you know what I'm saying? Mm, can we get back on topic? All right, so break it down. Let us know what you thought about the movie. I, I thought it was a good movie too as well. Um, at first, because um, some of these Netflix movies I have to be careful about um, watching because I, I already have uh, formed sometimes in my mind how it's going to go down. Or well, she might just yell out, it's low budget. Yeah. But I like it. Say, I'm not going to say that. This was not. <laughs> this is a pretty good movie. I really, um, it, the, the gentleman, and I know this is probably, you probably going to look at me strange, but for some reason, the, uh, the boy who's the high school student, because I'm trying to be careful and not spoil alert. He gave me a in the mindset of Biggie Smalls for some reason on um, the movie. All right, well, well that's he resembled Biggie's son. Yeah, little Chris yeah. Wallace. Yes, he did. Baby, so, baby. <laughs> so he gave me that feel as I was looking at this movie. Not, I'm not sure if that's what they was trying to do. No, they weren't not. trying to do that. But when I saw it, that's how I felt when I looked at the movie. Okay. What's um, the mother's name? The, the little high schooler's mother. What's his name? Uh, her real name it is yes. Azu Abdu. From let me, Orange is the New let me Black. Make, let me make sure I say her, her name correct because I don't want to. But uh, it's Azu. Uh, Azu? I think that's how you say God, it. Dang, you know you I'm right? not good with these names. You tongue tied like a they, mother. Ew, that's my braces. Yeah, okay. now, let me try to blame this one on the braces. You I don't say know. Azo? Is it Azo? Uzo? Uzamaka. No, Anika. <laughs> Uzo Aduba. It took you a minute though. K Kaduba? <laughs> Aduba. Kaduba. Aduba. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aeolion. Aeolion. Anyway, and she played and she played in a lot of new movies as well, but that was the mother right. who played um August's mother in the movie. Mm -hmm. the, the teenager's name is August. And I'm I don't watch Orange the New Black, but Me she either. did a, a a brilliant job in here of taking care of her child in the way that she thought was best. So she played her role. What's the, you have the name of the principal? Oh, and that little girl was a pretty little thing. I would have been in her face if I were in high school with her. Oh, the girl, the um. Naya. Naya. The name yeah. Naya? Oh yeah, she was, I forgot about her. I yeah, forgot about and her she's of age, even though she's in you know, in, in the movie, she's in high school. She's of age. She's too you young for me. You looked her She's too didn't. young for me, but she is of age, so I can say that about her. She's a pretty little girl. And, um, yeah, if I were in, in her high school back in the day, I'd be like, hey, 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 hey. I, I can rap. <laughs> I used to be a rapper in high school. A lot of people ain't know that. Well, the, the beat was more also about... Um, I, and I don't know if this is a spoiler because every time I uh -oh. say something, uh -oh. he always say spoiler. Here we go. The young boy was good at his craft too, which is the title of the movie. That's the craft? Huh? The movie is that called The Craft? Oh, another movie called The Craft? I said he was good at his craft. Which is the title of the which movie. Which is the title of the movie. That ain't the title of the, the movie. The title of the movie is... Um, Thank you. What? It's beats. That ain't got to do with craft. Yeah, that's his, but that's that's his craft is music. Okay. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. So the lip, the girl's I, name. I, not crow. Who who is his uh the apple of his, his eye? His in, love interest. Her name. His love interest. Her name is Ashley Jackson. An easy name. And she's a she's a good act actress. I really enjoyed her. Mm. Hopefully to see her in some other movies. This is the first movie I've seen her in. The one the woman from Orange is the New Black. Her short name is Uzo Aduba. That's a short name. And that's what I. That's a government name. 
that's why it's so long took it so hard to say it the principal now that's a name right there who I say is attractive I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name but she's been in a couple of Imeyatsi Coronelli Imeyatsi Coronelli and she's been in a couple of movies Dave East the main character is Khalil Everidge he and Anthony Anderson are sort of the main characters and uh, the record producer Paul Walter Hauser he did good it, it's messed up but interesting stuff interesting how he did his thing in the movie and and that reminds me of Spinderella and Salt and Pepper <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all something industry rule number 4080 record company people are shady, shady. that's what Q-tip bless us with and it fits perfectly with salt and pepper. And it fits perfectly with this movie. Mm-hmm. B. 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 Right. So, you want to rate this movie? Is there more you want to say about it? Um, No, it's no more that I want to say about it because Shay's my giveaway too much. All right. You know, you like to say that about me. But I will give an overall, um, well, out of five stars. I would give it four stars. God, that's 80%. Yeah. You are a tough critic. I'm giving this movie five stars out of five. And I normally don't do that. But this is like back-to-back movies. I'm giving five stars out of five stars. Acting was good. Storyline was good. I enjoyed what the characters were doing. They resonated with me. So big ups to Netflix original movie, Beat, with Anthony Anderson. I highly suggest it to everybody. Also, I highly suggest it to teenagers. Okay, teenagers, young adults, people who are trying to get into the music business, and people in their 20s. I highly suggest that. And then, and that's for the high schoolers and the record company people. All the music stuff, I suggest that for everybody I just named. But for the adults, Anthony Anderson and the principal, and the mother, those characters really hit home with their age groups. So if you are between the ages of 12 on up to 60, I suggest this movie. B, y'all go check it out on Netflix. B, tell them Money Green sent you. That's it for me, Money Green. And Shays, I'm out. Larry's and Lies. Oh, and don't forget to check us out. Um, like us, subscribe, and comment. We always, you know, want to make sure that y'all continue supporting us. So please check us out on YouTube.